Zack, and Avengers Infinity War is out. Holy sh**, gotta go watch it. Gotta go watch it. Yo. Yo, Zack. Wake up. Wake your ass up. You need to finish these Marvel movies, bro. What? Finish the Marvel movies. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about another superhero movie. Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to your Everyday Nerd B-Sides Editions. I'm your host, Zack Snyder, and on the B-Sides, we cover anything and everything in the same format as your Everyday Nerd. They're just shorter, unsponsored episodes. Continuing our road to Endgame, because Endgame's been out for a month, and these MCU videos should have been finished by now, it's Doctor Strange. Now, I didn't see Doctor Strange for the first time until last year, before Infinity War. So this is only my second time watching it. Let's just cut to the chase. Is it worth watching before Endgame? Let's find out. Doctor Strange. You think you know how the world works? For those that don't know anything about it, 2016's Doctor Strange is the 14th film in the MCU and is directed by Scott Derrickson. It serves as the origin story to Dr. Stephen Strange, a sorcerer who learned magic after he found himself in a terrible accident. One of the things I love about Phase 3 of the MCU is just how many new characters are introduced that play such an important part in Infinity War and Endgame. Though as much as I like the Dr. Strange character now, his origin film honestly leaves something to be desired. Here's the issue. For starters, Stephen Strange is somewhat similar to Tony Stark. They are both assholes, with the caveat being that Tony is a lovable asshole and Strange seems to lack that part of the trait. The two of them both also have a love interest that works in the same workplace as them. Though Tony's love interest is Pepper Potts, who's way better than... I forgot her name. I think it's Christine. Yeah, Christine. Her character is pretty much non-existent. Both Tony and Strange use their intellect to get them out of a bad situation. Though Tony has to get away from terrorists that are trying to kill him and use his nuclear weapons to destroy the world and Strange was in a car accident and he messed up his hands. So he learns magic. What I'm saying is, is that Doctor Strange's character and origin story is fairly boring. While I do like his wit in Infinity War and his powers are pretty dope, there's just not much here that made me care for his character. But character aside, a lot of this film just happens to be forgettable and boring. I love the concept of the Ancient One, but every time she's on screen, she's pretty uninteresting. I love the use of the magic and the time stone, but most of the scenes where they see them being used is in the middle of a city with the same trippy visual effects. And admittedly, they're awesome. I love them. In fact, the visuals are my favorite part of this film. It's just that I feel like they could have done more with it. And fortunately they do in Infinity War and even some in Endgame, but like it's his story and all we get is a bunch of moving buildings. It's boring. But then there's the villain of the film. Well, the first villain. Spoilers incoming about the rest of the film. So the first villain is this guy named Cassilius. I literally don't have anything to say about him because he's, he's just as bad as Malekith from Dark World and Jeff Bezos from Ant-Man. The problem with Cassilius is he's in most of the movie. He brings nothing interesting to the table. Then, when the movie is almost over, we get the real villain of the film. So Cassilius wasn't even important. And that is Dormammu. Now, Dormammu is this gigantic celestial being who's an actual threat and he's way cooler than Cassilius ever was. Unfortunately, we only get one scene with him, which is a bit of a problem because I would have loved to see him more because this one scene that he is in, it's my favorite scene in the movie. It just made the rest of the film feel like a waste of time. Continuing in the villain department, we also do get this guy who's a good guy throughout the entire film, but then he's also clearly set up to be a villain in the sequel. It's just kind of unfortunate because he too, like most of these characters, is un- wait for it, interesting. He's boring. And this film is mainly boring. We get a little bit of comedy with Strange and Wong, but they definitely get better in Infinity War. We get the trippy magic stuff and the really dope Dormammu scene, but the magic stuff gets better in Infinity War. Everything else in the film, I've pretty much forgotten about. 
And I, I'm saying all this because I honestly hate that I didn't like this movie as much as I did the first time. I watched it for the first time. I thought it was really cool. Again, I love the visuals. But going into this a second time, it just felt like I was wasting my time. Especially marathoning these films. And in Phase 3, where there's so many highs. And, and yet, there's, there's the lows. Like, this movie... It's just confusing to me why we're so far into the MCU and we're still getting just okay films overall. And it makes me worry about the future of Phase 4. But superhero fatigue aside, boring, uninteresting films aside, do you need to watch Doctor Strange for Endgame? I would argue, like, maybe... If you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. I think most of these movies you should watch at least once for Endgame. But then if you've already seen it, I don't think you need to rewatch it. Maybe if you want to get the whole ancient one and the time stone stuff, refresh that in your mind. Sure. But like you get all of that pretty much in Infinity War again. So there's no real reason to rewatch this. I, I personally am not going to, I don't really plan to see it again in the future. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, hit that like button. For reason you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts on Doctor Strange. Anyways, go ahead and subscribe for more Your Everyday Nerd. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.